Hi everyone, Chica here with NARC Dojo where we discuss pathological narcissism, spirituality, and raising your awareness. In today's video, we're doing a quick Q&A. So this user writes, how about people who are narcissists but are now self-aware through therapy and are giving advice? Is this even possible? It is important to understand that when you're dealing with a pathological narcissist, you're dealing with someone that has abandoned their true self your true spirit for a fictitious entity. This is what we call the mask or the ego. And why is this a fictitious entity? Well, it is fictitious because it does not exist. The ego or the mask is a figment of a child's imagination now in an adult's body. So when you're talking to a narcissist, you're actually interacting with their false self, not their true self. This begs the question then, if narcissists go to therapy, which of the selves are the therapists dealing with? Pathological narcissists are pathological liars. And if you've ever been to therapy with a narcissist, you'll see where they go into therapy to manipulate the therapist. A self-aware narcissist is a narcissist. I did a previous video comparing self-aware narcissists to self-aware cannibals. You should be mindful of the self-aware cannibal that invites you to dinner because you may be the one that is on the menu. People that do not have a true self need external validation and this is the goal of the narcissist. They want your attention, validation, and energy because they are energy vampires. When you're dealing with pathological narcissists, you're dealing with an evil trickster spirit and it will do whatever it needs to do including pretending to be self-aware in order to get your attention. Do not be fooled.